Hello there guys and welcome to our 33rd C++ tutorial. Today's tutorial will be a pretty good tutorial. Today we're going to go ahead and talk about function templates. So if you guys haven't seen our other tutorials in C++, go ahead and watch those. They're very informative and especially the class tutorials. They will teach you a lot and basically how you should structure your code. Basically that's the way to go in structuring your code. So if you haven't watched those tutorials guys, go ahead and check those out. And if you haven't watched all the other series of tutorials, guys, go ahead and watch those. Leave comments with suggestions, with concerns, also with requests. And please rate the videos, guys, and please, please subscribe to my channel. It truly means a lot when you leave me feedback and tells me if I'm doing a good job or not. So, to waste no more time, let's go ahead and get started here. Let's go ahead and type our code first. So, if you guys don't understand in the beginning, don't worry. At the end, once we're done typing, we're going to go ahead and go over the code in more detail so you guys can understand. So let's go ahead and start by go ahead including our library here. Let me go ahead and include the audio stream. Next, using namespace standard. Now let's go ahead and talk about templates. To do that, let's go ahead and type temp template class, and I'm going to put t. Next in here, I'm going to type t. And for this tutorial, we're going to create a function, a function which will basically will find the largest number. So let's call it get max or find max. Let's call it find max. I'm going to going to have two parameters because we need to pass it two numbers. I'm going to call it a and b. If you don't understand this syntax yet, guys, don't worry. We'll go in more detail at the end. You guys will understand. And here, I'm going to declare another variable called the result. To do that, type t result. Next, what I want to do inside the function is uh, uh, I'm going to set the result equal to basically to the, to the large number. To do that, we're going to use a more advanced kind of like a if statement here. To do that, you type parentheses, open parentheses, type a greater than b, close the parentheses, question mark, put a question mark there, and then put a colon b, and then semicolon at the end there and then finally return result once we're done typing our function here and we have our function template let's go ahead and go inside our main type in main let me go ahead and type return zero here just to have this ready let me go ahead and declare an uh, int variable I'm going to initialize it to 10 and I'm going to declare another one in two, and I'm going to set that equal to n2. I'm going to call it n2, and I'm going to set it equal to 17. And let me declare a result. So I'm going to say result one here. Let me declare another type here. Let me declare a double type, and I'm going to call it maybe k1. And let me set it to a double var. Let me say 3795 and k2. Let me set it to 2498 and result again if you don't understand don't worry guys we'll go once we're done typing the code we'll go over it in more detail oh, I forgot equal sign here there we go what do we want to do next let's go ahead and set result one the result one will basically be the largest number of this function so once the function finds the largest number it will give it back to us but in order for us to call that function well from this template here, how we do that is we type the name of the function, which is find max, and then inside here we put the the data type which our variables are. So it's int for the first variables here, and then we pass it the two parameters. So the two parameters in our case is n1 and n2, and then semicolon there. And for result two, let's do the same thing and find max, which is the name of our function. But this time we have a double, so we let me say that's a double and we pass it k1 and k2 and let's put a semicolon there and let me let's print it out so we can just see what's going on and let's say result 1 equals and let's print that out and let's print out result 1 and let's put an end line do the same thing for result 2 let's type result 2 I'll put an equal sign here and a uh, result two, and let's put an end line there. All right, 
All right, so now let's go ahead and over our code here and understand what temp uh, more a little bit more about templates here. All right, so we have our template here, and this is how we start basically defining our template. So we type template and then greater than and less than and, and greater than here, and then we have class, and this is just how to identify basically the the type which class. So I mean, our type here it can be any type. It can be a char, you know void or you know double float so many and so on our function here we pass a t because the the basically the idea of a template is so inside the main then the the user can specify basically any any data type he wants or, or um that's so so the function is very basically um flexible so you can pass it anything any any kind of data type variables I mean any data types and you will perform this um, basically um, with no problem that's the whole point of the function so here we the T basically stands for our data type so whatever data type we want to pass at the int or double and so on so we have our two variables and T here is also basically uh, the the T will be once we s as as we have in our main here we have int so for this example here T will be int so let's say T is int so this will be int A int B and this would be int result. So we have an integer data data type. And this would be a return type of int. So we have to return an integer. And our result would be an int also. So here what means parameter one. So if parameter A is greater than parameter B, if that is true, this question mark means if that is true, then the answer so then return A. So then result equals A. If this is not true, so this is kind of like if else. So if A is greater than B, then a is and then result equals A. If that is false, if B is greater than A, then the answer is B. So result equals B. Then we we'll then we we'll return the result. Inside our main down here, we basically just declare initialize some variables. So this is basically um, it should be easy to understand, guys. By now, down here we're just setting result one equal to find max. To call our function template here and our function, we call it by its name and then we pass it. We tell it what data type we want it to be in our case here int and then, and then we're passing it to integer two parameters and both of them are uh, are in data type because we we want to find basically and we want our return type to be int so our function once it's called basically the, t the all the t's here get re get replaced by ints so this become the return type of integer becomes variable two two variables that we pass it here they're both ints and the result becomes int and then, then when we also return an int and then for the second result we basically specifying we're doing the same thing we type the name of the function to call it and we're telling it that these are doubles so all the t's get replaced by doubles and then we need to return a double and down here we're just printing out the results so the whole idea of templates guys templates are very flexible think about templates in words so templates are just basic idea of um, basically on how to you um, to make something more organized and you can basically change it in any way you want so basically you can pass it any parameters you want it in uh, basically uh, any data types and this will work uh, fluently with anything so it will work fine which is basically very very uh, which is very good instead of you basically defining uh, let's say uh, two different find max uh, functions here which would be one would be int and one would be double in, in order to to perform this tool that we're doing down here we we'll just have one function and we're making it more and more flexible so basically passing it so we're basically telling it what what return type we want it to be and what um, and basically and what the variables we want the, well basically what what the parameters should be we're actually telling it after we define the function which is actually pretty cool instead of basically of us defining two different functions one having a return type double and one having a, a return type of int which would be, which would uh, which will actually do the exact same thing, but it will take a lot more. Uh, it will take a couple of more lines of code, and I mean this is more efficient. So this will take more. Uh, I mean this will take less cycles, m uh, less CPU cycles. So basically, this will execute much faster than instead of you typing all that code. So um, templates are actually a um, great uh, are a great way of you writing more uh, effective code. All right, so let's waste no time. Let's go ahead and build this and see if we actually if it does actually work. All right, so successful. Let's go ahead to debug and let's start without debugging. All right, so let's so uh, before we start without debugging, let's see here. We're passing it n1 and n2. n2 is 17 and n1 is 10. So 
what our find max should return us, it should return us for result 1, it should return us 17, because 17 is greater than 10. So we'll check here, is 10 greater than 17? You say no, so we say return B, so result will equal B, so we should get 17. For the second one, we should say is 37.95 greater than 24.98, we should say yes, so re result equals A, so we should get 37.95. So what we should get is 17 and 37.95 printed out down here. Let's go ahead and st go to debug, start with our debugging, and we do get a result 1 is 17, result 2 37.95. Alright guys, so this was a tutorial on templates. Templates are extremely effective and a great way to write code basically because one function can be manipulated to do, um, m basically uh, take uh, multiple data types and so, and so on. So it's, it's, for, it's basically the, the code is basically uh, much more professional this way. So think about writing your code and basically writing, writing templates more often. If you, if you can do it, sometimes it's uh, basically, sometimes you cannot do that, but if, if you get the opportunity to do that, go ahead and do that. It's, it's very useful and it, it's very useful to, to use templates. And we'll continue basically more tutorials with templates. We'll talk about class templates and so on. So, thank you for watching the tutorial, guys. Please subscribe to my channel, rate the videos, leave comments with any suggestions or concerns or you know anything in particular, guys. This also this gives me a lot of feedback if I'm doing a good job or not. So rate the videos guys, subscribe to my channel and stick around for more tutorials, there will be another tutorial coming up very soon. Thank you for watching this guys and don't forget to subscribe, thank you.